today I'm working on this half bath here on our home build. Uh, this is a small room, but it's been pretty time consuming. Uh, we're doing one of these Pinterest ideas that my wife found. And uh, so we're putting corrugated metal here along the bottom of the room. And then we're taking these pine uh, tongue and groove boards that we put on the rest of the interior walls and we've turned them vertical. And uh, we went ahead and stained those and polyurethaned them uh, before we ever nailed them to the wall. So we ended up, took about a week to stain and polyurethane, I think like 25. And I think I'm still gonna end up being a few short, so I'm gonna have to go back and do a few more. So I think I'm gonna end, end up needing close to 30 by the time it's done. We did kind of pre-cut those, so everything kind of just went up uh, pretty easily. I just had to end up cutting out for the for the electrical and then the notching for the beams. Um, so, but to put these on vertical, so I mean, there's, this is time consuming a little bit. I think it'll turn out good, but to put these vertical, we had to put uh, studs uh, horizontally in the walls around every 16 inches so that we had something to glue and nail to uh, when we're putting these up. And if you notice this wall right here has insulation in it, this is because um, the room on the other side is, is our bedroom. And my wife works night shift and she sleeps during the day. Um, so basically this is to soundproof the bedroom so that she can get a better sleep during the day. And it, we basically did that on this just this one wall uh, just to help keep that room quiet. So. We're, Right now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and put as much boards up as I can. I'm going to continue on this room. I'm sure it's going to take a few more days before we're done. But uh, pretty much once this gets up, it's pretty much done. We'll have a trim board to go along here, cover up where these two meet. We'll have some trim baseboard that'll go in. Then we'll put in our barrel sink and our toilet. And the room ought to pretty much be finished. Uh, of course we'll have a mirror and a light to put in as well, but uh, hoping that this is actually going to be one of the first rooms we get done. Well, the half bath is now complete. This is a 5x5 five five room, basically. Uh, pretty small to film. But you can see we've got the corrugated metal going around the room. The barrel vanity that we made um, is a little project. We have that in here as our sink for this room. Then we've got uh, we've got this star mirror that my wife found. Um, it's kind of made out of a coppery bronze kind of metal. Kind of goes with the room. And then uh, we end up doing one of the pipe uh, toilet paper holders that we've got here behind the door. It's kind of working as a doorstop. And then. Um, we're still missing a towel holder. So we're still trying to come up with what we're going to use for a towel holder. We may make one out of pipe. Uh, and my, my wife has been actively searching for one maybe made out of a horseshoe, but she can't find the style that she's looking for. So still need a towel holder. But other than that, the uh, half bath is complete. One other thing I'd like to mention, we did find a drain for the copper sink. We ended up going with a, a sinkology. It's an open drain. And uh, since it's just a half bath, we didn't feel like it necessarily needed a stopper. Um, so there was issues getting drains for these, these copper sinks because they're just a thin metal sink. And then the other thing is, is this corrugated metal. We went and bought some corrugated metal. It was already cut for like uh, 36 inches, you know, basically for the uh, the walls for doing like this chair rail stuff. And it's very thin, or maybe 30 gauge or something. It's pretty thin. And um, I think I hit it with a board there during construction and it got a dent over there. And then on this side, I ended up uh, working on the sink, trying to get the drain hooked up. I put my foot in the vent hole there and then I fell into the uh, metal over here and dented it up and it was worse than that I actually had to take the trim back off we put some dowel rods in behind there and and use that to help reform that and kind of put that back into shape um, so just be aware if you end up using this kind of metal try to pay attention I guess to what what you buy later on we noticed that they 
had a different type of metal that was out of stock the first time we were there. It was a tighter corrugation. It, it, the pattern was, was um, you know, like this is like a two and a half inch pattern. It was like a tighter pattern and it was heavier stuff. It was a lot uh, stouter. So pay attention, I guess, if you try this stuff to try to get the heaviest gauge stuff you can. I guess if you're using it on a ceiling and you, you know, uh, nobody's going to be bumping into it or anything, it's, this stuff would work pretty good. But uh, if somebody would accidentally kick this, it will dent. So be aware if you ever use any of that stuff. So this was basically an idea that we had gotten off of Pinterest. My wife found this picture of a bathroom with corrugated metal and some dark wood walls on it and she wanted to replicate that. So I think we did a decent job of trying to get that kind of feel and it turned out to be a pretty neat little bathroom. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I really like the dark pine. That stained pine looks really good. We, we actively tried to keep the knots in the pieces that we used. So we tried, when we cut the pieces, we tried to keep as many knots and uh, so it has more character in the room. So, real happy with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching.